Okay, in this next video we're going to show you just uh, fitting the tool to the Krez itself. And uh, first of all then we have our Krez uh, collet sitting in the, um, the Krez collet nut here. And into that we're going to insert our tool of a set shaft diameter. And we can adjust that uh, just to the right height protruding. So when we're cutting into the material it's the right size. Uh, next we offer that up to the nut here and it's important to lock in uh, the spindle with this button and then we just turn that up and uh, to get up towards the top and then finally we just need to tighten that uh, with our spanner so that's nice and tight but not overly tight and uh, then we're ready to go with uh, doing a, a cut on the job. Now the next thing to do generally would be to uh, set the um, start point and uh, that would be bottom left generally or centre of your artwork and uh, what we need to do um, before we can start is set that point uh, including the XYZ point. Um, in this example we're going to use um, this accessory which is the, the tool height accessory and this has got a button on it that when the tool depresses it registers um, a switch which lets us know that we've hit Z0. So um, the only other setting in the software itself, the WMP CNC, if we um, bring up, just exit that, go to parameters and um, miscellaneous and uh, sorry it's coordinates and then down here and uh, this setting here surface block we need to pit the height of the the block itself up to the plate distance and um, I measured it in this particular sensor it was 31.05 millimeters there may be a little bit of fine adjustment when you get your surface block just to get those settings correct and um, but once it's input once say uh, you don't need to touch it again and uh, so then all we need to do is bring up the uh, jog controls here and uh, if we move about on our bed, and um, I'll just show you here, we'll come over the surface of the actual sensor itself, and uh, then I'll come down a bit. Down Z. And I just uh, fit it over the center of the actual sensor itself. And then when we're at that point, um, back in this control software, then what we'll do generally at this point will say save to the X, Y, zero points. And then all we have to do next is find what the Z is. So in this option here, there's a move to. And in this option here is block the zero Z point. So if I click OK on that, and then we come back to here, you can see it moving down until it touches the surface, and then it lifts it up out of the way. And that's the Z already done. It's all automatic, and uh, there's very little to do. So it's a very useful and quick tool to set the Z zero height.